A320, Mentor Channel. Thanks for watching. Flight Operations Transmission FOT. Applicable to all A318, A319, A320, A321, A330, A340 operators. Subject, ATA-22, Temporary Abnormal Behavior, Not Expected Early Climb Mode Engagement After Takeoff with QFE Setting. Classification, Operational Recommendation. Applicable Aircraft, This FOD is applicable to all A320 family operators that operate aircraft equipped with any FMS Thales and Mod 20406, and to all A330 and A340 operators that operate aircraft equipped with any FMS Thales and Mod 40064. This FOT provides operational recommendations on operational issues. It is each operator's responsibility to distribute this FOT, or to distribute the information contained in this FOT, to all of their applicable flight crews for application of the operational recommendations described herein. Airbus recommends that the operators apply the operational recommendations described in this FOT within 30 days from the date of issue of this FOT or from the date of issue of the attached OEB, if any. Purpose. The purpose of this FOT is to inform all the operators of a 320 family, a 330, and a 340 Airbus aircraft equipped with any FMS Thales and the QFE option that a temporary abnormal behavior, TAB, was published at the November 2022 FCOM revision. This, TAB, is related to the occurrence of a not expected early climb mode engagement after takeoff, with both of the following, a QFE setting an ATC clearance value with a QFE reference that is below the thrust reduction slash acceleration altitudes displayed on the FMS2 perf page, always QNH referenced. The QFE option is embedded on an aircraft with the following modifications. A320 family. Navigation air data provide QFE barrow setting. A330 and A340. Autoflight define QFE slash QNH setting. Event Description Airbus received a report of a flight, during which the aircraft performed its acceleration after takeoff at 400 feet above aerodrome elevation instead of the expected 1,500 feet AAL. The aircraft was operated with all of the following, QFE and used the value displayed in the FCU altitude window, in accordance with the ATC clearance, was 4,000 feet, QFE setting. The thrust reduction slash acceleration altitudes entered in the FMS was 6,000 feet, QNH as per the SID procedure. Consequences Because FMS design, during the takeoff roll, the FMS takeoff phase engages at 90 knots. At the FMS takeoff phase engagement, the FMS checks that the FCU altitude displayed on the FCU altitude window is above the following altitudes, displayed on the FMS perf takeoff page, thrust reduction altitude acceleration altitude. If the FCU value displayed on the FCU altitude window is below the thrust reduction altitude, then the thrust reduction altitude is set to the maximum value between the FCU value and the airport altitude plus 400 feet. If the FCU value displayed on the FCU altitude window is below the acceleration altitude, then the acceleration altitude is set to the maximum value between the FCU value and the airport altitude plus 400 feet. If the thrust reduction slash acceleration altitudes are updated, the FMS perf takeoff page is updated accordingly. Abnormal behavior and abnormal behavior exists when the QFE setting is used. In the above mentioned logic, the value displayed in the FCU altitude window is always considered as an altitude despite the QFE setting. Therefore, in the case of the QFE setting, the logic compares a height value displayed in the FCU altitude window with an altitude, thrust reduction slash acceleration altitudes displayed on the FMS takeoff perf page that are always QNH referenced. Consequences depending on the conditions, the value displayed in the FCU altitude window, QFE setting, may be below the thrust reduction slash acceleration altitude, QNH setting, and all of the following will occur, at FMS takeoff phase activation. The thrust reduction slash acceleration altitudes are updated and set below the expected ones with a minimum possible value at airport altitude plus 400 feet. The FMS perf takeoff page is updated accordingly. The auto flight system performs as per design. When the aircraft reaches the updated thrust reduction altitude, then the lever climb flashes. The climb engages. The FMS perf climb page replaces the FMS perf takeoff page. The updated acceleration altitude, then the aircraft accelerates to the climb managed speed target. 
In addition, depending on the climb gradient of the standard instrument departure, SID, an early acceleration at 400 feet, without flight crew reaction, may result in a reduction of the obstacle clearance margin related to the all-engine operative SID profile. Note. In the case of an engine failure at or above V1, the obstacle clearance margin is not affected, the flight crew manually accelerates at the engine out acceleration altitude, as per engine failure management technique. Airbus Actions Airbus published the operational recommendations associated with this abnormal behavior in the November 2022 FCOM revision, through the dedicated FMS, tab not expected early CLB mode engagement after takeoff with QFE setting. The TAB is applicable to all A320 family aircraft equipped with any FMS thales and the QFE option as defined in the Chapter 1. With this, FOT, Airbus would like to emphasize this tab to all operators affected by the QFE operations. Emphasize that the correct application of the tab enables to maintain the regulatory obstacle clearance margin, regardless of the SID. Follow-up plan. This abnormal behavior is cancelled with S9-T7 Thales FMS standards, certification expected in 2024. For any questions about the operational content of this FOT, please use tech request on Airbus World. A320, Mentor Channel.